It's Thursday. This is the day after the thunderstorms came through Flower Mound and Grapevine, Texas across Grapevine Lake. And this is going to be a tour of the damage in the Dove neighborhoods uh, just up the hill from the lake. Not too much structural damage. Yeah! Not too much structural damage. Just uh, a lot of trees, tree branches down. A few big trees knocked down, but not too many. A few uh, treetops knocked over right there. Neighbors' yards. But uh, for the most part, people made it out okay. Just about a few days worth of cleaning up is needed. There's the water tower for Dove Elementary and Dove Park. If you know Grapevine, you probably know where I'm standing now. This is back on the formerly Corps of Engineers property, now city-owned property by Lake Grapevine. This low area right here must have seen a hell of a wind because that big tree is done. But it's a maple, so I guess it doesn't count. And that old rotten oak tree is finished too. And there's another stump back there of a pretty substantial living tree that was snapped off. The tops of the trees are in good shape though, so it really doesn't look like a tornado. And everything's pretty much blown the same way here. Well, that tree's not, but everything else is blown the same general direction, so it looks a lot more like straight line winds. And most of the damage happened in the low area. It would have been a tornado, I think, in some of the higher areas. Uh, there'd be a lot of damage too. But I'm going to see if I can get the bike around these trees and uh, see if there's any damage on the other side. the corner of Mockingbird and Dove Loop. <laughs> Most of the trees that have been knocked down are maples. Developers like the maples, like that, because they grow quickly and uh, provide shade fast. But if you go to the woods back in Grapevine Lake, where I just came from, you'll notice that most of the trees standing there are oaks. That's because the maples get selected out by wind. They get knocked over pretty easy. It's a fast growing soft wood and they just don't hold up to the punishment that nature can throw at them sometimes. So if you're thinking about planting a tree in areas where it can get windy, you might want to go with something that grows a little slower. Right now, most everything I'm looking at is maple. And if it's not maple, it's probably not oak. Looks like these lower areas were the places that got it worse.
my god Duplexes up here got owned. Yeah. That's one disappointing insurance adjuster. What are those maples? oak tree and the Dove Elementary playground survived. It's been six years of recess under that big oak tree.